To begin, let's open a block. We will choose FC1. Double click to open FC1. Drop down the bit logic folder. To begin adding logic, click the network. First, let's add some logic using the shortcut bar. Click the normally open contact button. Now add the assignment coil from the shortcut bar. Let's add a second network. Right click on network 1. Choose insert new network. For demonstration purposes, this time we will choose some logic from the bit logic folder. With network 2 highlighted, double click the normally closed contact. Double click the set coil. Let's add another network. Right click on network 2. Choose insert network. With Network 3 highlighted, double click on the normally open contact. Double click on the reset coil. Let's address these elements. We will make the first one be input I1.4. Press the Enter key to move the highlight to the next element. In this case, the assignment coil. The assignment coil address will be Q4.7. Press the Enter key. Select the normally closed contact in Network 2. We will assign the address I1.5 and press the Enter key. Type the address to be Q5.7. Select the normally open contact in Network 3. We will make this address I1.6 and press the Enter key. The reset coil will carry the same address as Network 2, Q5.7. The block FC1 needs to be saved and downloaded which will not be shown. FC1 is already called from Organization Block 1. Now let's monitor the code. The assignment coil follows the logic, or said another way, changes with the logic. If the result of all the logic before the coil is false, the coil will be false. If the result of all the logic before the coil is true, the coil will be true. Input I1.5 is a normally closed contact. Since the actual input is off, the logic going to the set coil is true. Once the set coil goes true, it will remain true until it is reset by a reset coil. The normally closed contact input I1.5 has been turned on, so the logic going to the set coil is false, but notice the set coil remains true. The reset coil agrees with the set coil and is true. Input I1.6 has been turned on and the result of that logic is true which resets output Q5.7 and the coil goes false. The set coil agrees with the reset coil and is also false. The result of the logic in network 2 is true again, therefore the coil is set. When the logic in network 2 goes true, the coil Q5.7 is set or true. When the logic in network 3 goes true, the coil is reset or false. If the logic in both networks remains true, then network 3, the last one scanned, writes the logic to the output coil Q5.7, which will be false. In this demonstration, you have seen that an assignment coil such as Q4.7 follows the logic. A set coil remains true until it is reset. If the logic to both a set coil and a reset coil is true, then the last one scanned writes the logic to the output. And that concludes this.